This is the NA250 immersion separation system designed specifically for the neutralization of sensitive compounds. It's an all stainless steel unit equipped with a stilling chamber with a level control that refills the unit via the solenoid when it calls for additional water. It has a filter system that circulates the water inside the separator and cleans that water before it's reintroduced above the dispersion screen. This particular unit is outfitted with a series of sensors which basically measure the pressure of the water coming back into the unit. The differential pressure across the entire vessel measured at these two points and also the negative pressure on the inlet of this unit. The vessel is equipped with two doors. A top door that gives you access to the internals of the vessel. The first thing that is visible is the retainer for the demisting screen. The demisting screen itself, which is made out of stainless steel. A dispersion screen assembly, which basically takes the air and mixes the air with the water. An access panel that allows you access to the inlet. Inside you have three inlet tubes which can either have socks, filter socks attached to them or they can operate just the way they are without any uh, extra filtration on them. Also visible on the inside is a nozzle which is the return water from the filter system and it uh, brings the water back into the vessel on top of the dispersion screen, washing the dispersion screen back down into the vessel tank itself. The front of the unit also has a door which is equipped with a sight glass in the tube a low and high level liquefont system, a two inch ball valve. This unit can be serviced by opening this door, pulling out the dispersion screen, and you can actually wash the internals of this unit out with a hose. The unit has a capacity of about 40 gallons. It's equipped with two fixed casters and two swivel casters. It also has two forklift pockets where you can physically lift the unit, bring it over a, uh, a dumping station or a holding tank and discharge the contents of the vessel. The connection to the vacuum producer is at the back of the unit. In this particular case it's a three inch connection that allows you to attach a regular three inch hose with a cuff to the vessel.